guys, Linda here. I've been watching Amber over at Lear Cove, I think that's how you, Clover 810, and she had some really good ideas for craft sales, but I don't do craft sales anymore. I used to years ago, but I just really wanted to make these to give my neighbors, and they're these little tea packages that um, I, I found some little granulated honey packs at Amazon and a little wooden spoon and uh, some Christmassy teas to put in these little packages. And I just thought they were so cute. Hers are a little different with what she did, but I'm gonna show you real quick how I make them, how I make them and how um, I'm gonna package them. So this is a six by six piece of paper and you just fold it in half. Now, Amber folded both of these down, but I'm just folding one down and almost to the bottom, not all the way. And then you fold the sides in and you leave it, you know, a little bit. You don't wanna go all the way to the edge, like she said, cause then you won't have any um, place to put the, you know, you won't have enough room in here. It'll be too tight. So I'm gonna fold this one up too to match up to that one. Okay, and that's all I did. I did have my, um, you know, bone folder, but right now I have it put away. <laughs> my desk is a mess again. Okay, so then I just folded it like that. And then what I did is I just took a little bit of tape and taped it down like that and then I put a little tape on this one and tape that down and then I just stuck the tea and the wooden spoon oh I also took a little piece of paper um, and what she did is she, she cut a 12 by 12 into fours and took one out and then cut different pieces off of it for the front of here I was just using up some of my scraps and that's what I have on here. And then I just put a little, this Santa was from a whole sheet of paper of Santas and I just cut those out. I was at my friend's house last weekend with Donna. Hi Donna and her sister Vicki. And you know, I just made a bunch of these. Oh, actually I made 58 of them. <laughs> and then I just had these clear packages um, I forgot to take some with me, so I still have that to do. I'm just going to slide it in here like this. And I figured I need it like, I don't know, 38 or 32, something like that for my condo. I have, um, I think like 58 of them made. And then I want to give them to my friends that I play Mahjong with and, you know, anybody else that I come across. Um, probably when I go to the orthodontist, I'll give her one too. So then I'm just going to go like that. Then I took some paper. And you know how you get that pretty Christmas paper that has one side has a great big flower on it? And it's like, how am I going to use that paper? Well... If you scrapbook, you'll know how to use it, but I just cut that up. Um, this is four and a quarter or four and a half by three, four and a half by three. And then I'm going to put that on here. Now I got to find my Tim Holtz stapler. A million ways you can do this you can put ribbon around it and do all kinds of things but I <laughs> I made a whole sheet of these 
And you know, I don't know, my eyes must be getting really bad. I thought I highlighted it all and made it green, but the word T is like a blue teal, so I don't know what happened there, but I made two sheets of them, and I'm not, it's sticker paper, and it's kind of expensive. I'm not going to go through all that again. Then I'm just going to stick that on here. It says, when the season gets stressful, take a break and sip some tea. Happy holidays, Linda. And then I have 212, because that's the unit I'm in. That's the number on my condo. So I'm going to stick that on here. And then I got out all these fun Christmas stickers. This is a Tim Holtz um, little guy. I found this lovely package. Where did it go? from Yolanda. She sent me this a long time ago, and it was so nice of her. She said that these were print work stickers from a warehouse in her city. And, um, you know, I just stuck it in my Christmas stuff and forgot all about it, but I'm glad that tag was on there. So I wanted to use one of those. I thought this little bow would be really cute on here. And it's just going to be a great way to use up my stickers. And I can cover up that little staple there. Like that. So that's the way they're going to be. I think these will be nice little gifts to leave on. We have little ledges outside our door. I think they're called purse ledges. I don't know. When I first moved here, I thought they kind of reminded me of the nursing home. But it's okay. Anyway, so that's what I'm making, and I got the idea from Amber. She's got lots of great ideas for if you do craft sales. The other person is um, Roxy Fur. She's got lots of ideas for um, craft sales and little gift bags to do like this. But that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to get busy. I have a lot of them to make, and you don't need to watch me do all of them. But here's a picture of all of them finished. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.